Well hello there everyone, David your friendly Harry Scotsman here yet again doing another wee review. Now, I was out, where was I? I was in Home Bargains, I think. Pretty much, yeah, I'm pretty much sure it was Home Bargains. And I found something by a Mrs Tilly. Now, Mrs Tilly's Original Scottish Fudge, the famous Scottish Tablet, and Original Scottish Macaroons. Now, I'm going to get them all in here. I'm going to have to do this with two hands, make it easier. There we go. Now, Scottish Fudge. We all know what Scottish Fudge is like. Gonna be a little bit firm, firmer than I thought it was gonna be. Let's put glasses on that I can actually read with. Let's take my eyes out. Produced in Scotland, and they're saying it's in the UK. As if we didn't know that. Made in Larbert, which is in Scotland. It's 90 gram bar. This one in this fudge. Ingredients: sugar, sweetened condensed milk, salted butter, uh, which is made of milk, glucose syrup, golden syrup, hemoculant, glycerine. Okay, so that's what's in it. That's your allergy advice. That's your energies and fats and sh whatevers. So, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to just cut the top off because it gives it a nicer edge. And it doesn't always just rip away then. Squidge it out. That's, I wish we had smell on this as well because that is the smell of burnt sugar that's what it looks like it's all pre-scored already it's not actually cut it's just pre-scored so that pops off like that. that's what it looks like inside and I'll break that wee bit there That is there's no words to describe that smell. There's one diabetes. Oh wow. I'm gonna try this. It is so soft. It's creamy. It's it's just wow. That is unbelievably good. You just so moorish. You just want to finish the whole thing. But I'm going to have to be good because the amount of sugar that I'm going to take in in this next couple of bars is going to be scary. I'm going to op open now. Apparently they're all gluten free as well. Mrs Tilly's the famous Scottish tablet. So let's try and fold that back a bit. And what's in tablet, which I actually fancy making from scratch one day to let you have a look at, is sugar, whole milk, salted butter, which is made of milk, sweetened condensed milk, 
and glucose syrup. So it's very similar to fudge, but this is actually quite hard. So that shows what's in it. There you go. There's a bit of blurb, you know, basically eat it as quick as you can sort of thing, which isn't really a problem. There's all the the numbers and whatever it says there. Nutritional information and storage. Storage? Why would you, you just eat it? It's just... So, I'm not going to save for much of this. It's very, very, very similar in smell to the fudge. But it's almost like it's sweeter. If that's even remotely possible. So I'm going to try and break a bit off here. That's it there. You can see it's slightly more sort of powdery-ish. Well, not, not even powdery, it's... Mm. <laughs> I love tablet. Um, you don't chew tablet, you actually suck it. You put it in your tongue, break it into the top of your, the roof of your mouth. It all breaks down. It goes kind of almost like a mush. And then you just allow that to evaporate onto your, your mouth. And you get the, the flavours coming through. Slightly burnt sugar. The condensed, reduced condensed milk. Um, whereas fudge is slightly chewier, this is slightly hard. It's a little bit harder. Um, you can see the difference in the colour. This is the fudge, and this is the tablet. The fudge is slightly darker than the tablet is. It's slightly chewier. It's slightly. It's a bit softer. That's quite firm. Um, you, you, you really, it's hard to describe tablet. Um, it's just so good. It just melts in your mouth. Uh, as I say, you don't chew it. You just allow it to break down in your mouth. Press it against the top of your mouth, the roof of your mouth. There, just let it break down with this, with the moisture in your mouth, and it'll just. It'll sort of almost like coat your tongue. It's it's amazing. That's all. The only way to describe it is amazing. Now, macaroon. Yes, that's toasted coconut. Go over here. Ingredients. <coughs> Let me wipe that bit off there. Ingredients. Are you ready for this? Sugar, glucose syrup, dark chocolate, cocoa mass, sugar, cocoa, but cocoa butter even, emulsifier, soya, lecithin, natural vanilla flavouring, cocoa solids, desiccated coconut, and whole milk. Isn't that amazing stuff? Allergy advice, and then nutritional information. Right. Again, this is gluten-free as well. A wee bucket. I wasn't a wee bucket at the side there. You can smell the dark chocolate instantly. It's a 
looks like in there. I'm going to break it in here. Are you ready for this? That is what it's like inside. I haven't had this in a long time. You can smell dark chocolate, you can smell the toasted coconut. Smell the sweetness. got the coconut, the toasted coconut there, which gets stuck in your teeth. You've got the dark chocolate coming through. The centre it's hard to describe the centre actually. It's it's almost creamy. It's like a cross between fudge and tablet. But it's got a slightly waxier taste. I know that I'm not helping it here with the description. You really, the only way to describe, to sort of work out what it's like is to try it. That's it. being honest. Um. I've absolutely no idea how you'd make the inside. The inside. So the sugar and the glucose syrup would not make that on its own, I don't think. It's almost like it's... Strange. Right, I'm going to try and bite some of the stuff off around it. And then try it itself. come off that's come off and that's come off mm. now I've got a little more coconut in my mouth right that is what it looks like so Quite sweet. It starts to melt in your mouth. Right, most of the flavour is from the chocolate and the coconut. The inside kind of melts down to a creaminess. It's slightly firmer than, uh, it's, uh, texture wise, it's like a cross between fudge and tablet. Um, fudge has got that chewier edge to it, tablet's more melty. Um, this is kind of somewhere in between. A bit strange, I know, but there's one thing. It's yummy. It's very Moorish. You definitely want to eat more than just one little bite of it. Um, and what I'll do, I'll break all this up into sections, pop it into a wee plastic container somewhere, and then just nibble it, basically. Try and nibble it and not eat it all at once. Because when I do these videos, I have got so much. And today there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12, 
maybe 14 videos I could shoot today. But most of them are very sweet. So I might split it between today and tomorrow because if I did all that, I would be absolutely bouncing. There's no two ways to look at it. I would be literally... I'd have to put the camera on the roof. I'd be up there with a bit of sugar. So, yeah, right. Favourite of them all, definitely the tablet. I absolutely love tablet. I love fudge. And I, I really do enjoy the macaroons. Um, now, it's macaroon and not macaron. You know, the wee poncy biscuits. <coughs> um, basically, what I've eaten today is sugar, sugar, some more sugar, um, some milk, some more sugar, a bit of dark chocolate and some coconut. I would hate to see what my cholesterol's doing at the moment, to be honest with you. Uh, not my cholesterol, my blood sugars and all that sort of thing, you know what I mean. But if you go into a diabetic thing, stick a bit of that under your tongue, you'll be back round in minutes. That, the taste is amazing. Great thing about being Scottish, you've got some great foods. So I'm going to vanish just now because, as I say, I've got so many more of these videos to shoot and I still haven't edited the last two days' worth. So I'll toddle off just now. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd greatly appreciate it if you do. If you hit the bell, you'll get notifications, hopefully. And if you hit the like button, it'll greatly help the channel. Uh, one thing I'm going to apologise for was the noise of the magpies that were out there during it um, and the idiot that went past on his motorbike revving the uh, bits off it. Hope it wasn't too annoying for you. Um, so take care of yourselves, everyone, and I'll see you all. Hopefully, be speaking to you all again very soon. See ya.